Hi guys, I hope that you're doing great. Thanks for joining for a Just Because reading. We're going to take a look and see where the energies are here. I'm going to use this new little deck um, that I got the other day. Uh, I think it's called the Little Prince deck or something like that. All the decks that I use can be found down below in the description box. So with that said, let's just jump in here and see what's going on. Thank you, Sweet Divine, for clarifying messages. What's the most important thing that we need to know? What's happening right here, right now? Okay. Just take what resonates, chunk out the rest, guys. So... We've got the King of Cups showing up here, and the King of Cups has got his hand over his heart, loves very deeply, very compassionate. Uh, if he's in the upright, he's a real balanced individual, friendly and artistic and honest and business-minded. He's fair. If not, he's sulky and childish and passive-aggressive and manipulative and all that kind of stuff, okay? <laughs> Crabby and all that stuff hides things. But if he's in the upright, like I said, it's a nice picture to see somebody in leadership with their hand over their heart and uh, being loving and caring and, and things like that. So let's see in the past. We have the Six of Pentacles, so some kind of sharing energy took place, all right, and uh, somebody real artistic in something and brought some type of healing to a situation and gifts and gratification and abundance and uh, got some kind of payout and, and something like that. The Six of Pentacles has the skills of... Uh, of justice within that and so some of y'all were dealing with court issues and love situations somebody got some kind of payout here but you know this showing somebody being real artistic okay drawing and, and things like that and really using their gifts in a real tangible physical way here and uh, six is about balancing In the right now moment, we have the Queen of Cups, which is beautiful. This is a match here. The Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. Beautiful. And uh, same element, right? Being, being real sensitive and artistic as well. Being a healer, a nurse, a teacher. Somebody who can tap into their intuition. And it's very creative energy. And we're seeing like a creative thing in the past. Somebody drawing some kind of really nice picture or you know something really nice there in the near future we have the four of wands so we're talking about the home and celebration and being able to you know really just have peace and harmony within the home and you know when you when you're balanced and you're at the same element with whoever you're dealing with that's beautiful that's a match Okay, now it could be too watery, so you got to be balanced here with this stuff. Okay, but there's definitely love here and celebration in the near future where home is concerned. Now we had this energy as the outcome for today, and we had a lot of people getting together today and celebrating and uh, having love and compassion towards one another, and that's real beautiful. You know, this is leadership. This is people that's not childish right here. Okay, and so if you were really able to do that and have forgiveness and be kind and share and stuff like that, that's beautiful. Absolutely. And the divine says to keep things tempered. The temperance card is here. And um, don't overindulge too much in situations with whatever, whatever. Like, this beautiful energy coming out here. I'm not getting any negative energy. Um... But obviously, if temperance has to come out here, then maybe there was something going on here where, you know, there's this reconciling energy, healing, okay? So somebody came and healed the home, got things going here. We'll see what's in the environment with this Queen of Cups. Trying to make a decision. 
well, if you're trying to make a decision and the divine says, I want you to be tempered and I want you to heal something, this is a healing card, and restore something so that the family can be whole, then you need to do that. Make a choice, okay? Don't be listening to sly talk. If something's, you know, talking in your ear to do something sneaky, you need to get out of that kind of stuff. That's not what the divine wants. The divine wants truth. This is about truth here. In the hopes, we have the world to be able to pass the test. Yes, and stand in integrity and get a triumphant conclusion to whatever's happening here in the home. Okay? Something here in the past happened physically. Okay? happened with uh, gifts or legalities or something happened unexpectedly here. Maybe with your resources even. Generosity or a lack thereof happened. And the divine saying to balance out the scale this balancing stuff happening got two here that's balancing balancing the mind getting out of any kind of confusion and reconcile things so that your home can be happy isn't that what you want to pass the test to be able to pass the test to learn the lessons this both these about learning lessons very karmic activity and the outcome we have the King of Wands, and I don't like this King of Wands because there's a snake down at the bottom unless you're going to take charge. Now, a snake in the positive sense is something wise, okay? You can be wise like a snake, but you don't want to be a snake, okay? You got to be gentle. You got you to gotta take action in something, okay? And be a spiritual leader because Wands is very spiritual, we got fire here, fire here, okay? We've got real grounded energy right here with Saturn energy. Show me the, um, got the chariot at the bottom. That's positive. Whatever happened, it's obviously fixable. Let's just go around another round. If there was third party something here, because the King of Wands can represent another person. Show me the Six of Pentacles, please. Thank you. Somebody started over. Jumped off the cliff, tried to have faith, went to the unknown after maybe even a divorce or something. Like I said, it's got the um, scales in there. We got the star at the bottom of the deck, and that something was guided, though, the way that it happened. Show me the Queen of Cups. Thank you. The Knight of Cups. So we got court cards coming out here. And the Knight of Cups is a knight in shining armor. And a message. Thro feeling thrown out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. Insecure. In the right now moment, there's a decision about coming forward and being romantic or inventing something or pro to propose something to follow the heart where the home is concerned it's going to affect the home this is a celebrating card and the divine says to fix something to alchemize something together to speak the truth to be spiritual to manage something to accommodate somewhere I mean, if, if, if you're in leadership and it's in your power to take 
action and to be wise about it and to get out of any kind of sneaky behavior, then you need to do that. Show me the four of wands. Show me the four of wands. The page of cups. Got a lot of a lot of people here. The page is to bring a message, but there's the five of cups turning around and taking the other cups and getting out of any kind of bitterness or frustration or disappointment or regret. In the near future, there's news coming, messages, engagement energies to reconcile. Are you going to do it? Because in the environment is somebody just sitting there or listening to some kind of sneaky thing. And we've got a snake down here, up here in the outcome to take action. The king, the king of wands represents taking action. Show me the temperance. Show me the temperance. The will. And justice. And that's a lot of law stuff. All three of these cards can go to the law. It's karmic activity. The nine of swords. Somebody's in their head about it. About the truth, the truth, the truth. About karmic activity. Okay? About the message itself. So what are you just gonna you just gonna listen to a lie then? The divine says to reconcile something. Don't, don't you want to do what the divine wants you to do? Don't you want to get the higher mind of something and travel forward and expand and be fortunate and protected? Because this is about protection. So is this. Balancing out the scales. Got the scales right here of justice within the past energy as well. So truth is up in the air. Somebody's in their mind about it. Seven of Swords. There's been lies. Well, we got a lot. Look, we got the Seven of Swords. Somebody trying to get away with the lie. Okay. And deception and strategy. And the Nine of Swords. Somebody really in their mind about it. Okay. And we got the Queen of Swords with the truth in her hand. And up in the air. And we got justice here as well. And we got somebody who actually knows the truth on both sides, but still don't want to show the face and has listened to trickery, possibly for some of you all. That's a lot of swords coming out. And the divine says to face the truth. Face it. Get out of the secrets, the high priestess. Also can go to the moon. But it's also meant events. This is inevitable fate right here that the divine says to do. Pass the test. This is this is the this is the major stuff. Can't talk. Show me the king of wands. The overall energy is about love. Having your hand over your heart and making an agreement with love to move in love. The highest vibration is love, forgiveness, being intuitive, being intelligent within it, facing the truth regardless what it is. The divine has everything under control. It's happening the way that it's supposed to happen. It's inevitable fate here. Luck as well. Show me the king of wands. Show me the King of Wands. Show me the King of Wands. Thank you. The Hermit. The Decision. The Lover's Card here. Spiritual Wisdom. To Heal Something. To take action upon it that will be taken is the outcome. Show 
Show me the hermit. Show me the hermit. What's in the mind of the hermit? The chariot and the judgment. To, to make a judgment. That's victory. The three of wands waiting for ships to come in. Discovering something. The eight of cups. Walking away to go get the nine of cups. Well, you got it right here. It actually would make ten cups. Show me the King of Cups in the middle of this reading. Show me the King of Cups in the middle of this reading. There's a lot of heaven showing up here to help in a situation. To push through the heartache. This is a wounded warrior. The Six of Cups, the past. Well, whatever happened in the past with these lies and deception and somebody knowing the truth and speaking really precise things and got somebody up in the mind and what, whatever, it, it's never going to heal the Queen of Pentacles. It's never going to heal unless you come forward and speak the Five of Swords. Somebody's really in conflict about it. I guess people like to be liars. Just shows their immaturity, really. Because they're not showing up as kings and queens. And yet we got people in leadership here showing up. We do have victory. And Jupiter came up really big and strong here, here, and here. Seeing the moon energies with the high priestess, and the moon is also there in the chariot as well. We also have under investigated, so we got a lot of law stuff here. A lot undercovered stuff undercovered spiritual things happening as well what was the lie about what was the lie about the two of cups the way somebody felt and they poured it out they poured it out. Because his hand's over his heart here, and she's holding up her heart as well. The love. Yet, somebody still watered it. Poured it out, but yet it was still being watered at the same time because they know how that felt. The past. They've been in, they've been in nostalgia about it. We got the Six of Wands and the Secret. The High Priestess wants to show us up again. But we have the Six of Wands. So something's definitely public here. There's public recognition about something. About the truth. About nostalgia. About being in the mind. About the lie and the trickery and the deception. And yet something's still being watered. And something's very much successful and inspirational and victorious. We got the victory card right here. Somebody wants a wish fulfillment. There's the Nine of Cups and the Three of Cups to celebrate. Well, baby, you're just going to have to do it. A new start, an Ace of Pentacles showing itself there. Let's take a room. Move this out of the way. The hopes is to pass the test, so why don't you just do it? You know what to do. You know what to do. You don't have to be afraid of the truth. The divine saying, I will protect you. This is protection, 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 victory. There are things hidden coming to the surface. There's, there's a judgment here in the outcome. There's wisdom and healing with the hermit. And there's action and spirituality with the king of wands. If it's in the upright, obviously, the divine saying to be in the upright. Somebody's afraid of what the truth is. 
the devil energy of ownership, assets. We just got this the other day. We just got this the other day. But that's positive. We have another one that's popping out as well. We got the R. The R and the O. <laughs> we just let them roar. <laughs> they can't do anything to you, baby. Um, the the twenty third letter and the eighteenth letter, or I uh, apologize, the um fifth letter so that's a 10 23 and 5 is a 10 it's a completion we got the 10 higher 10th higher canna up here as well and things that are known a five it would be the higher fit in society and things like that who the hell cares what people think how do you feel about it represents ownership inheritances assets traditions that's the higher fit energy learning from past from the past and good luck it's good luck okay and then we have the ride and we've got the chariot right here movement travel removal and help cooperation right here spiritual cooperation the hermit goes within and finds the answer and it's a healer it's a guru organize and analyze things and put things in order in business okay if we're talking assets and stuff like that things come to the surface having a second chance and a renewal and understanding and it's important choices here it's regression and separation for those who blame errors and decisions on others if you don't tell the truth Now, that's a warning because we have the heavens out here. <laughs> and we got endings. What, do, what will you do? Because in the near future, you're going you're gonna to be faced with your home, your assets, all that stuff that I just read. And the ride is either going to take it away or, or it's gonna, you're going to get victory from it and heal it. There's an apology here, if you want it, but you got to do the truth. You got to do the truth. There's luck here, if you do the truth. You got to get out of the head. You know you're not happy. Look at all the swords. The head is just going off. But there's big time love here, even though there's wounded energy. Somebody's in nostalgia and their hand is over their heart. Shalom, y'all.